Once upon a time, next to a little pond, there lived a giant oak tree. Now this giant oak tree was a hundred years old. Now it wasn't giant all of its life. It started as a very, very, very tiny sprout, just the size of my finger, and it grew. It grew and grew and grew over many years. But when it was young, it found that it was so weak that it would often get blown one way and blown the other by whatever the winds decided. And it didn't like that. It didn't like getting pushed around by those winds. And it got a little stubborn, you know? It started rooting its roots way deep, deep, deep into the ground. It started growing very, very tall and very, very wide because it knew I never want to get pushed over by that wind. Not again. And it worked. For a hundred years, this tree was growing big, big, big until the wind wasn't moving it at all. It stayed firm and all the wind could do was ruffle a few leaves of the tree. Now remember, the big oak tree lived on a tiny pond. And that tiny pond had these things sticking out of it called cattails. And so these cattails, they're very thin, very slender. And when the wind picks up around the pond, they bend all the way over one way and then come back to straight and then bend all the way over and come back up straight. When the oak tree saw the cattails bending to the wind, it reminded the oak tree of when it was just a young sprout and the wind would push it around all over the place without any regard for what the oak tree wanted. So it felt bad for the cattails. It was sad. And and one day, the oak tree went over and said to the cattails, You know, I could teach you. I could teach you how to stand firm and strong so that you don't get pushed over by the wind. And the cattails said, well, Don't worry about it, really. If it works for you not to bend, don't bend. It works for us to bend. So we bend. And the oak tree was all in a huff after all. All the oak tree was trying to do was help these cattails. So it was, it was annoyed, it was frustrated, it was really just furious and it wanted to show those cattails that it was right to stand strong and wrong to bend. So the next time a wind started to pick up and the cattails were having fun, they're going wee, wee, wee dancing with the wind, the oak tree was going to make sure to teach them a lesson and show those cattails that it's better to stand strong and tall than to bend with the wind. Which, as Teresa the tortoise would say, P.U. Comparisons are odorous. And yet, that's all the tree knew. The tree only knew to be strong and sturdy. It didn't realize that bending was an option. So this wind started to pick up and pick up and pick up and it called over to the cattails. You know what cattails? Look at me. I'm still standing strong and steady. And it was even holding on to its own leaves, not letting the leaves even shake to the wind. But pretty soon the wind turned into a hurricane. Whoosh. all around it. Things were starting to pick up and the oak tree started to have a very, very hard time holding strong. In fact, its leaves started shaking. Some of them were being blown off into the air. The branches started shaking. Some of those were being torn off into the wind. And the oak tree looked down at the cattails and saw that they weren't having a hard time at all. They were just dancing. They're having a little party in that hurricane. They're going, woo, 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 woo. They were enjoying themselves. 
and the oak tree was having such a hard time, but it was going to remain firm. It was going to remain strong and hold and hold and hold until finally, it snapped. It snapped and it fell onto the ground. And then the wind stopped and the cattails stopped dancing and stood up straight again and looked over at the oak tree, sad, because the oak tree was their friend, and now their friend had fallen. And it took many, many, many years for the oak tree to break down back into dirt and to regrow into a tiny, tiny sprout. And when it did, that oak tree loved every moment it got to dance with the cattails in the wind. And the moral of the story is, don't fight the wind, dance with it. Ooh, dance like a cattail, dancing like a cattail. That's right, my friends, another Aesop classic, which reminds me of a story from Aesop's life. See, one day he was just wandering around the marketplace, minding his own business, looking at the apples, looking at the baskets, looking at those weird little green trinkets over there. It's got like a loop on the top. I don't know, maybe you can make it into jewelry. I'm not so sure. But he was just doing whatever he wanted, you know, enjoying his day. When an officer came up and said, hey, where are you going? And Aesop said, oh, I don't know where I'm going. Because he didn't. And the officer said, well then, I'm taking you into jail. I don't know why the officer wanted to take Aesop to jail. I don't think Aesop knew why the officer wanted to take him to jail. But Aesop said, well then I told you the truth. See, I had no idea I was going to jail today. And so... The officer found that kind of funny and ended up just letting him go along his way. So my friends, by listening to the world around you and responding with your compass, you'll be able to dance in the wind instead of fight it. And I know you'll learn a lot along the way. I sure have. Sometimes I still fight the wind. I've noticed that no matter how strong the wind gets, there's always a way to dance and play through it. And I know you're going to find that way too. That's it for today, mi amigos, my friends. Now what do you say? We get up, go play, and remember, I love you no matter what comes around.